So here we have my uh, number five Arthur Lego robot. And you can see that it has suddenly grown some extra batteries. That is because the L239D motor control microchip that I have used, uh, I didn't realize that it has about a two volt uh, drop. Um, so you put in four and a half volts, uh, you get out two and a half volts if you're lucky, which is not strong enough to actually uh, run the motors when you take into account all the gears um, and uh, the resistance of the carpet and so forth. So we've currently got um, eight AA batteries in series, um, which gives us, you know, getting on for nine volts um, and a hell of a lot more current. <laughs> so let's um, see how this goes. Um, and we've got uh, a Wi-Fi connection here to the Raspberry Pi. And if I say forward three, and then we look at this little trap, off he goes. As you can see, not exactly straight. Um, I'm wondering whether that's something to do with the inaccuracy of um, these very, very old 30-year-old Lego motors, or whether it's um, something to do with um, my particular circuitry. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go back. Um, and now let's try turning a corner. Now, in theory, when we turn a corner, um, it should, uh, you know, one track should go one way, the other track should go another way, and it should spin around its own axis. Um, but that doesn't seem to be what's happening, even though that's what it does do um, when I get it up on a jack and, and get it up on blocks. It doesn't do that on the carpet. Let's go uh, right to... Um, uh, I don't know whether it was... Try that one again, right to... As you can see, only one of the tracks actually turning. Now if we go left four you will see that the track that previously wasn't working now springs into life and the other one is dead. Um, and I can assure you that's not a fault in the programming, so I'm wondering whether it's something to do with the resistance of the carpet, or again, not quite enough amps or volts. It's all a process of discovery, isn't it? But anyway, I have managed to build uh, a little number five Lego robot with a Raspberry Pi Model A. Uh, emergency phone charger, a large number of AA batteries, and some Technics motors circa 1970. <coughs> That's enough for now.